I'm going to check with a few thoughts on media bias. Well, you can tell me if there's media bias involved. Uh, last Tuesday, the USA Today and other Gannett papers broke a story about how an inspection report of the Veterans Affairs Inspector General had a report uh, about abuses at a VA hospital in Toma, Wisconsin, that there was a high uh, use of prescribed opiates and that the report was given to Senator Tammy Baldwin's office in August and Senator Baldwin's office sat on the report until this month uh, when there were news reports that a veteran had died of an overdose, uh, mixed drug toxicity, after which Senator Baldwin called for an investigation. Well, that story was online last Tuesday. Major Wisconsin newspapers really didn't do the story until the weekend and on Monday, uh, but there was a story uh, that Tammy Baldwin fired a longtime aide who apparently had dropped the ball. Uh, the conservative blogs went nuts. They sent them all to me, of course, saying that had it been Senator Johnson's office that had sat on a report of abuse of veterans at a VA facility in Toma, the story would have been front page news. Now you tell me, now you can say that isn't true, but there must be a reason why there's a, a, a different uh, level of sensitivity to these things. I like Timmy Bowles. He's the nicest person I've ever met in politics, and I've covered politics a long time. But it seems to me that if the report of that magnitude talks about high-level abuse at a VA facility and it sits on somebody's desk for five months, and that really doesn't get much immediate coverage in the Wisconsin mainstream press, it does give you a reason to think, who are the reporters who are sitting on this story? And if this were Senator Ron Johnson's office, would the story have run a little higher, a little sooner? Just food for thought. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that because what happened did seem to be rather extraordinary. My two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and the staff will redo your staircase, your bathroom, your kitchen, your bedrooms. They will make your home feel just like home. See you next time.